episode of NSFW to a close. And unfortunately, like all fantasy football draft picking kinds of things, you're going to end on an unsatisfied note. But remember, you guys oh, can follow. You say it's suspenseful, Brian. Suspenseful. suspenseful. I'm sorry. Unsatisfied. Go, if you are not. Well, on the, on the right side, Brian, you get to know that you lose early. Ah. Uh, <laughs> We'll just see about that, sir. <laughs> I know that I'll be probably in first for at least a month, so that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, right. But meanwhile, that's it for this episode of NSFW. I want to give a huge thanks to Tomas Marit of Tech News Today fame, along with Frame Rate and a million other shows. Of course, the lovely and talented ballerina, Miss Sarah Lane, and uh, a little bit of a tip of the hat to Jason Howell. And I'm just going to bow down right now to our new overlord, the guy who's clearly going to run away with it, Mr. C. Robert Cargill, and of course my co-host, Justin Robert Young. Uh, anything else you want the nice people to know before we wrap things up, Justin? Yeah, yes, absolutely. Listen, the way that this game is fun for everybody is two things. Number one, uh, you're going to go on and uh, follow me and Brian on Twitter, uh, at Justin R. Young and at Schwood. Uh, so you can play your own version of the game. You're going to be able to mix and match your own team based on uh, the $100 uh, and the prices that we said. And also follow everybody here on Twitter. Uh, that's at Massaworm, at Sarah Lane, at Ace Detect, and at Raygun01. Uh, because this Zero is when one. things get fun, is as we make fun of Brian for flaming out in April, as we talk about uh, all the comedies that Sarah bought. This is when the league is funny, is when you follow all of, all of us on Twitter. And, and you so point out a good thing. That. I totally forgot to explain how you guys are going to play at home. The way you play at home is all of the prices are set. They're all posted right now at bit.ly slash NSFW Draft 2011. Go online. You can buy at the market rates that we have set. Pretend that we're the Fed. We've set the rates. You you can construct your own team. What would you do if you knew all the prices were available at those prices? And then I want you to send them into NSFWshow at gmail.com. That's NSFWshow at gmail.com. You will be entered on the document. Make sure to include the name of your team. Be as clever, as creative as you want. And make sure to include your picks and how much money you spent on each because that is, of course, the established rates. And that is it for this episode of NSFW. We will see you next Tuesday. Die in a fire. There's a form. Wait. Stop everything. <laughs> Stop everything. Stop everything. I said something totally wrong. Uh, there's a form. Apparently, you go to draft.nsfwshow.com. <laughs> I'm just doing it. I just did it. So much for the beautiful outro. It was so orchest- <laughs> it was so well orchestrated. Everybody got to wave goodbye and smile. And you're like, no! Stop! <laughs> Tony oh, all right, all right, listen, it's all spoiled. let's just start it again. <laughs> From the top, people, I get all my money back. Five, Five men. men. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you go to NSFW, draft.nsfwshow.com, oh, is there a form on there that you can put Yes, in? it's draft.nsfwshow.com no, it's not, slash though. form. Oh, you slash can fill form. it out yourself. It's all live, and you'll be entered right now. <laughs> hey, on the Brian, Jeez. there's a form. Right. Is there? I don't know if you saw at uh, NSFWshow.com. I went to draft.nsfwshow.com, and there was no form there. And I didn't realize you had to go to draft. Slash form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what it looks like, people. If you go to uh, NSFW, uh, draft.nsfwshow.com or .com slash form, then you just put in the name of your team and your email address. And you will be – we do have to verify. Don't, don't be a douche and put in multiple email addresses. Let's play fair. Uh, this is all for fun. Besides, you don't get a piece of the... How much money is it again, Justin? Oh, I think that would be... $120. So you... Uh, and, and also, make sure that you wait a little bit. They're going to add the prices, I think. So yeah. you'll be able to add it up yourself. Yeah, you'll be able to, you'll be able to put uh, put that there. And uh, yeah, so so make sure make sure to go to draft.nsfwshow.com slash form. And of course, you can follow along at draft.nsfwshow.com. Uh, dude, that was a lot of fun. And while you're laughing at me now? No, I'm not. I'm actually laughing at, at Sarah Lane's malicious viral campaign to keep people out of the theaters during movies that she's competing against. I'm kidding. And why are you spying on me? Gosh, get a life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, 
All I'm saying is I got the most movies again, and that worked out pretty well last time. Because you never know. No, what Inception right. worked out pretty well last time, and you have no Inception this time. If you just had your I, log, I, I will back him up on that. There, you have no Inception. Well, that's what I was told last time when I had Inception. So we'll just see. Who knows? No, last Source time they said you had Inception because you had it, but they didn't understand yeah, the did. value. Of it. <laughs> the the biggest the biggest money maker was the first summer blockbuster of the season that was bought for less than ten dollars that was clash of the titans and it made a mint everybody wishes they had that wished they had it so i gotta figure i probably have the first big money maker because I, well, I spent you, know, you, you, see, you don't big, have that either I, uh dude I mean, the, your first big money maker is going to be fast five that fast five will do you good zookeeper will do surprisingly well um because his movies no matter what do well uh because you know what there are morons out there and captain america will do well but the question is will your other four movies be able to scrape together enough to equal one of the big ones that the rest of us have um am we'll i being see. mocked by a dolphin you may be being mocked by a dolphin. I'm sorry, and a lewd. He makes me touch him. <laughs> Point on the dolphin where? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dude, this is it. Like, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I don't feel like I've uh, I feel like I've got a good enough chance that there's going to be some smack talk. This is, does anyone regret their decision? Jason, I, <laughs> you're asking me directly. My strategy oh, no. coming in was to to go for the kids' movies for some reason, just because I felt like I needed to pick a strategy, and that was it. But I do feel like I paid a little too much for Pirates of the Caribbean. That, My no, only big have... mistake was on Larry Crown. Um, I, I, I just <laughs> it's like a verbal typo. I think I only meant to bid a <laughs> dollar above, and I went like four above <laughs> and everybody's like really 15 <laughs> yours dude <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what i think i my my preseason favorite here is sarah yeah i i definitely think so i cannot yeah. believe you guys let her have Jeffrey Hollow. I, I i was um i was a little I, I felt a little bad about i'm not even catholic so the priest thing was just a big joke i don't really know why i blew 10 right there but everything else i'm very i feel very strong about i got bridesmaids hangover harry potter the change up we'll see but it could you know could of, be a hit. of all the films that were picked which is the best deal like most value for the dollar would that be the I'm harry feeling, potter pick? very very good easily at harry yeah well how much how much did you get harry for 30. 30. Wow. Yeah, totally. That's, I mean, you that's know, I don't know. I, I paid, I paid, uh, what, 11 for Conan the Barbarian? And uh, I know it's Marcus Nispel, but I have a feeling that that movie may make some bank based upon the fact that everyone and their brother is going to want to know if it measures up to Arnold. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I, but, I don't know. Hey, we have somebody I, on the I line. Think, I think you're smoking cat crack on that one. Bo Bonnie the Invisible Wife is on the line. Oh, hold on. Let me move her over here. Hold I think the yeah, Somebody mentioned Cowboys and Aliens for 21. That was a great deal. That I've seen 40 deal. minutes of yes, that. That's it is an be incredible Bonnie, film. Are you there, baby? Yes. Yes, I regret something. I regret marrying you. Oh my God, this is the worst picks in all the world. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's not getting laid tonight. <laughs> it's not even in the summertime. Nobody's even going to movies yet. Well, you just got Invisa owned, son. <laughs> oh, that's uh, great. All right. I'll, um, <laughs> I love you, sweetheart. Goodbye. There will yeah. be a talk. All right. <laughs> I cannot believe that. Wow. Invisa owned. Um, well, that, that'll, make, Invisa that'll make you look even more smart if you come out in the end winning. I'll like, tell you what, it more, smart, sir, more smarter. Did. I remember riding in the back seat of Greg Grumberg's car as we were explaining our game. And, uh, and Justin, we explained what I had and what Justin had and what he had done with Iron Man 2. And both Greg Grumberg and Justin full on guffawing at my folly. They're like, oh, Iron Man's going to clean up all of them. <laughs> That's how Justin laughs. Oh, wait, why do you keep thinking that you got saved by anything else than Inception not being the prestige? 
it Inception is, was Dark Knight and not The Prestige. And at the point that it's in the about it, no one anything know. about it. It was. It might as well. It could have been either. The reason you, is, you is because the coin and it was right. When I, that's just it. Is I'm flipping the most coins. It's the black swan thing. You don't know when the the thing that goes. Don't bring up black swan, swan around Sarah. Like Sarah Lane's named uh, like a ballerina. It's okay. really getting old. Okay. Right. All right. And Uh-oh. then I'm talking to an icon instead of you. The, uh, <laughs> no, that was actually me, just frozen in fear and anger. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's the it's the fact that nobody knows. I'm betting that none of us know for sure which is it. So that's why I'm betting. I made sure that all my prices were well below the average price of the movie, and I got the most movies for prices that were lowest. Now, early on, everybody wanted to hold their money for yeah. later on. Everybody was tight fisted, and so nobody. Th- these are steals, and yes, they happen to be early, and yes, they're all in a row. But there's no reason that it can't. Uh, I'm betting. I'm not betting for a certain movie. I'm betting against all of you guys, including myself. And you're giving me the. But you're it. kind of betting against yourself when you're when you're choosing multiple movies that are all coming out on the same weekend. People only what, have so much attention to spread amongst all the movies, and that was the best spend. thing I ever did. Because I. <laughs> and here's where I'm told that I have no idea what I'm talking about. Is that right? I, no, 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 no. Have you guys even looked at the chat room? The minute Brian started trying to explain his strategy, the entire chat room became all these blank expressions, staring <laughs> at Brian going off on on his crazy BS. It's awesome. <laughs> Okay, no, but number one, Brian, you brought Prince of Persia and Sex of the City Part 17. Part 2, yeah. Okay, and that's number one. It's way out of, out of each other's demos. It was also the no, first big action-adventure thing yeah. of the summer. Prince of Persia was at the time. You bought two comedies. You bought yeah. two lewd comedies in Your Highness and Arthur. Like, one of them, by definition, won't do well. Right, but, okay, so let's say, okay... Uh, well, yes. I mean, that's, that is true. And they're competing against each other. Right. I'm telling you, don't worry about that part. Don't worry about that part. That part's (laughs) not going to matter. We'll see. We'll see, man. We'll see. So, but the er, the first thing you said there, Brian, was that uh, really none of us know for sure what's going to happen. So you're saying that none of us actually know the future? Yeah, explain that. That that's the case. Heavily implying that that's the case. Hmm. I see. Interesting. So let me let me ask a question of everybody. <laughs> Let's just throw this out there. If you could yeah. trade with any one person and get their picks, who would you trade with? I would Ooh. trade with Sarah instantly. I oh, you would mean all trade of their picks? With Jason. Well, that's only because yeah, I, I you like know Jason's you. <laughs> picks a lot too. He doesn't have many, but they're all strong. They're yeah. all solid. Yeah, I mean, if yeah. I had to trade, I would, I would trade with Jason. Oh, well, that makes me feel a little better. You only have three, though, so they yeah, I know be, like, that's exactly super huge. So, you, well, just... they're they're all all three of them are going to do really, really well. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the Spy is one of them. You know, probably the riskiest one is Pirates, <laughs> but even that one will will do well, even if you it know, doesn't do block. Totally. It's going to do okay no matter what. It just doesn't blow it out of the ballpark or not. Spy Kids, I was wondering about, I mean, obviously at a certain point I had no choice, but it was the one that I was going to gun for if I still had dollars to spend later in the game, but there isn't a whole lot of time because the cutoff is only a month after that movie premieres, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So you only have really four weeks for that to generate whatever it's going to get before that. You know, it's done. That's okay. Final Destination 5 will get it only an opening weekend That's anyway, true. so I'm good. <laughs> uh, okay, here's the way trades need to work. Is Chat Realm is playing a separate game from our, us. They're going to pick their pick, and they're going to ride it out, and that's their competition. Um, I will say pre I, – I will say among the people who play, the trade should be allowed. Yeah. No, is everybody okay with that? Is that Among us, correct? you mean, uh, yeah. Trades being legal? I mean, if we talk about it in public, like, you know, oh, I'm not so sure about my pick. For example, who here wants to trade for Arthur? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone? Anyone? Uh, well, now, with trades, too, do, do, is, do, do you have to keep your money value below 100, or is it just no. trades are... You, can trade, un- you just trade movie for movie. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, but, but it's got to be in public over Twitter. Or calls out on no, no, it's got it's got to get approval from the approval from the league. Yeah, the league is of course uh, all the folks in the in the audience. All right, 
Uh, okay, hey, we got to we got to come up with the title for this one. They don't like the idea of no trades. No, they like the no. idea. Of no, you know what? No. It, it really. And is there anybody there that's going to actually trade what they've got, except for Brian, who just got at, it took yeah. scolding from an, his wife to do it. <laughs> I'm happy with my four Brian, picks. Brian, Brian's not going to be happy with my picks. he trades now, he's done in April. Let's lock it in. Am I? Am I? By the way, uh, my favorite uh, possible name of the uh, of the of the episode is Brian is April's fool. <laughs> uh, Brian is the April fool. <laughs> is a good name for the episode. I love that your draft has already got its own Seward's Folly nickname. Uh, you know what? Hey, Although what somebody did it's somebody folly. did mention, am I getting mocked by a dolphin? Uh, <laughs> oh yes, uh, dude. I'll tell you this much: you brought up Seward's Folly. You just tell me how did Seward's Folly work out for Team USA? Okay, well, he didn't buy. You could uh, see Russia from there. For thirty dollars, <laughs> I did. It's nine dollars, fifteen dollars, eleven dollars, fourteen dollars. Give me SMW sixty nine. I regret marrying you. <laughs> okay, that that's gonna be the title. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, that wasn't. Oh, wait a minute. What about here's Harry Potter? Like a callback to, to last year. I don't know if we're going to do a year callback for a title <laughs> that we didn't even make any mention of. That's a deep uh, cut. No, I, I think what's I think we just do. Uh, we just do what's We just do the tw- 2011 NSMW Fantasy League draft. Uh, we already have the early. Wow, the early returns are shocking. Although I also like hangovers are my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Who will win the 2011 NSFW movie draft? Far and away, Sarah Lane, although it says Sarah Laner. I don't know what that is. Um, Sarah Lane Rocks is short. Oh, Sarah Lane Rocks. Okay. I was, I was just like, well, that's weird. Uh, and then in second <laughs> place is Bri Bri. And then it's the Jer. And then it's uh, Ray Gun 01, Thomas Marit, the Jerbs, and Massa Worm. Wow. They got no faith in you, Cargill. They don't, and you know what? I'm fine with that because I, I've got a late summer, and uh, we'll see how it does. But I'm, I'm, I am positive that all four of my picks are going to do really solid. So even if I lose, I know that I'm going to be up there. So I'll have done respectable. It's not if, like I bid all my well, money nobody, on your nobody, highness nobody and Arthur. Because all of Cargill's <laughs> movies might very well be terrible, but like. Sure, but but I wasn't going for quality. If I were going for quality, Source Code would have been the first thing I bought. I've seen it. It's an incredible movie. Everybody out there should see it. Uh, Cowboys and Aliens is going to be awesome. I've seen the first uh, act of that, and that's incredible. I would have spent all my money on those if we were going for quality, but this is about money, and people are stupid. As they say, nobody in Hollywood went broke playing upon how dumb the audience is. Wow. Wow. All right. Well, uh, I guess we'll see. We'll see. All right. So, what what, what are we going to call it? I regret marrying you. That's that's this episode. Uh, no, I think I think we keep it we keep it straight with this one. It's the 2011 NSFW summer movie. All right. Days. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. And this is episode which number sixty nine, right? Sixty nine. All right. <clears throat> this is episode sixty nine of NSFW for March twenty ninth, twenty eleven, the two thousand eleven summer movie draft. Double. No, sorry. Actually, it's yeah, it's double complete. Double complete rainbow. You uh, yeah, it's fantasy draft. Yeah, all right, whatever. We'll call the fantasy league. I'll just read what it says here. This is NSFW episode sixty nine for March 29th, twenty eleven. It's NSFW summer movie fantasy league twenty eleven. <laughs> Uh, by the way, uh, everybody, I hope that you've all been, uh, you're all ready to catch the darkest hours fever. Catch it. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming on strong, folks. The darkest hour. Get your tickets Take your now. kids to see Smurfs, everybody. Oh, look at that. I gave my lecture, and I'm up in the rankings. <laughs> well, well, it's, it's I would like up. to point out then that my picks are in the same position and, and of close to the same quality as Cargo. So I think if he's leading, I'll probably be right on his tail. I'm sure. It's not working you out. You can so take hot. that to the bank. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, Sarah Lane. She's just rocking more and Running more. Running away. Every she vote. now has a yeah. majority of all the votes. Yeah. Well done, Sarah Lane. Five percent. 
Thank you. This has been a really fun. This has been a very fun first draft. Are they all like this? Line up. Uh, yeah, man, they're they're pouring in. Forty-seven votes, fifty-four percent of the total votes. Sarah Do you Lane think Locke. they know it's this Sarah Lane? <laughs> <laughs> not the and not the ballerina. All That's right, you know what? I don't have to show up for work tomorrow, Tom. And then what are you going to do? There? Uh, okay, uh, Justin, you want to get to something here? Sure. Okay, super pixels or no? You're good enough. That's fine. All right. On this episode of NSFW, we bring back the Summer Movie Fantasy League. The draft happens right now as Tom Merritt, Cargill, Raygun01, and Sarah Lane join me and Brian, and we divvy up the year's worth of summer films. Also, Andrew Maine's got a big fat deal for his eyes. Ah, screw it up. Adrian Brody. I, would, I mean, Adrian I, would, I would just on the upfront just promo the, the 2011 league. Yeah, just keep it simple, okay? Well, yeah, I mean, it's going to be quick at the end. I just need to know how to... Well, I mean, but, but, I mean, they're going to hear... It's the next thing they're going to hear when we come back. Yeah. Well, we... I mean, I don't know. It's just how we've always done it, is we go over everything. Well, uh, okay. All right. In this edition of NSFW, we bring back our Summer Movie Fantasy League. Me and Brian are joined by Sarah Lane Cargill... Tom Merritt and Raygun01 himself, Jason Howe. We divvy up all the summer's movies, and we will see who is best set to take the summer. Also, Andrew Maine's got a big contest for his new book, The Randall's Shadow, and we play an April Fool's Day prank that you won't believe. It's all coming up on this edition of NSFW. Well played, sir. Uh, yes, for everybody who hasn't... Uh, who hasn't picked up? Uh, we were not sponsored this episode. Yeah. Not a mystery. We didn't forget it. We weren't sponsored. They Let's found out it. I was coming on again, didn't they? That's right. Yes. Our sponsor was Kevin Smith, and then he found out you were on. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. It's Massa Worm again. <laughs> uh, wow, man. Isn't this that is... the guy that called me irrelevant? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, well, look, uh, I, I'd hate to do this. Shocking news. I've got a flight to, to catch in, in eight hours. Um, so I'm going to wrap things up, get packed. If you are in the San Francisco area, come on out and be on an episode of Scam School. Are, are any of you guys near the San Francisco area? Justin, are you? Uh, I'm not. No, I won't be. Tom? I am. Yeah, I'm, I'm near the San Francisco area. Sarah? I'm in San Francisco right now. J Jason? <laughs> Uh, I'm in Petaluma, which is just outside of San Francisco. Jammer B? And I'm right outside your house. Okay, well, why don't you hop on a plane <laughs> with me and go to San Francisco together? Uh, but seriously, come on out and be on an episode of Scam School. We'd love to have you guys out there. Will do. Where's, where, oh, where's going to be, Brian? Do we know? All right. Bye, guys. I'm out. Oh, we got, uh, oh I guess we don't have to do a billboard. What would there not being a sponsor this episode? Uh, all right. So I guess that's it. Hey, thank you guys so much. That was a lot of fun. I that was you. great. I had a good time. Yeah, nice to meet you, Cargill. Yeah. Oh, likewise, fun guys. It was a lot of fun. Fun hanging out with everybody. Thanks for having me and letting me play along. Yeah, thank you. Thank that's you. Fresh. And hey, what do you know? Go ahead and look at the poll. I'm totally winning now. Just saying. No, you're not. Okay. Sarah Laner is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys. Bye, guys. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.